God is great. Is it that simple? God is great. Don't get no simpler than that, bro. This video will revisit the House of Orsini, an ennobled Italian papal family. I'm going to play this commercial video from Ciro Orsini of the House of Orsini first. Then I'm going to review the Orsini family, and then I'm going to play this video again at the end of that review. It's on a channel titled Pizza Therapy, which has 10,000 subs. Now let's play it now. I have the volume turned off. So it says here that <clears throat> Ciro Orsini, owner of Ciro's Pizza in London, is making pizza for the people that are displaced by the war in Ukraine. It's a mobile operation on the Polish border. They work in tents, it says, along with volunteers. And Orsini instructs the volunteers to make pizza, and they offer slices and whole pizzas, and the hundreds of people who have fred, fled from Ukraine line up. Families are stressed, he says, and traumatized. Orsini believes pizza is a universal magic word. Every child knows about it when they hear pizza. They get all excited. And he's teaching people the tradition of pizza. The power of pizza to do good. So, according to this video, Ciro Orsini of the Noble House of Orsini, owner of Ciro's Pizza Palmadero of Knightsbridge in London, is funding a charitable work there at the border of the Ukraine during the war, time bringing pizza to those people and children displaced by war from a tent near the Polish border. So now let's look at Ciro Orsini of the House of Orsini, and then we will look at the House of Orsini in general and their history. So this here says that Ciro Orsini is co-founder and chairman of the House of Orsini, which is a foundation name of sorts. And Ciro Orsini is an Italian from Naples, a bloodline relative of the Italian noble Orsini family. It says he's a businessman, serial entrepreneur, restaurateur, and founder of the world-renowned Ciro's Pizza Pomodoro of Knight's Bridge. Ciro Orsini is based out of London, involved in a broad range of business activity across multiple sectors that include longevity, lifestyle, Orsini wines, Rejuvenation Healing Center, Gourmet Foods, Luxury Real Estate Development, Elite Concierge Services, Fashion, Well-Being Resort Industries, and is dedicated to building a greater future for humanity. But when you look at his website here, based out of uh, London, if you try to go to this Resurrection Center, It's for members only. You can't get there. In fact, almost everything on this website you cannot get to. Immortality. Stem cell. Reprogramming cell. Cell bank. Concierge. All of these you can't get to. See? You have to have a password. So let's talk about the Orsini family in general. They are an Italian bloodline noble family that was one of the most influential princely families in medieval Italy and Renaissance Rome. Members of the Orsini family include five popes, Stephen II from 752 to 757 AD, Paul I, 757 to 767 AD, Celestine III, 1191 to 1198, Nicholas III, 1277 to 1280, and Benedict VIII, 1724 to 1730. In addition, the family included 34 cardinals, numerous condottieri, and other significant political and religious figures. And this is just listing the figures. So they're a very ennobled papal Italian bloodline family. Pepe Orsini is the Grey Pope and the most powerful Jesuit 
over the more well-known Pope Francis. This article from American Media Group is from February of 2024. It says, Pepe Orsini, the great pope and hidden hand of global power, chief of Rothschilds, chief of Rockefellers, head of the Vatican, and chief of the black nobility. And I'll link this article in the description box, but I'm not going to read it. Uh, as far as Jesuits go, uh, Biden swore in on a Jesuit Bible. And I've shown this before, but here is it is again. This is the Bible. And you can see there is an all-seeing eye right here on it. And I've seen one of these actual Bibles before uh, in person. And yep, that is a an all-seeing eye embossed on it. Kind of tells you what the Jesuits are about. But now let's look at some of the history of the Orsini family. The noble Orsini family, according to their own family legend, are descended from the Julio Claudian dynasty of ancient Rome. Julio Claudian dynasty comprised the first five Roman emperors Augustus, Tiberius, Caligula, Claudius, and Nero. This line of emperors ruled the Roman Empire from its foundation under Augustus in 27 BC until the last of the line, Emperor Nero, committed suicide in AD 68. And here is the family tree of the dynasty. Remember that the Roman Empire is the last beast empire on Nebuchadnezzar's dream statue, and it's the last one before the final beast empire in that statue. So now we can talk about the origins of this dynasty. Uh, in Sir James Fraser's grimoire, The Golden Bow, The Magic Evolution of Kings, he described witchcraft practices from around the world, all different cultures throughout history. But his main focus of the book was Lake Nimi. And Lake Nimi is a volcanic lake 19 miles south of Rome, also known as Diana's Mirror. The lake is named after the Latin word for grove. Sir James Fraser seemed to be quite impressed with that place, the history, and the pagan practices that took place there. Lake Nimi is owned by the Orsini family, or at least it was in the 1800s, because they are the ones who gave permission to dredge up Caligula's party boat from that lake. In Sir Fraser's book, he writes that Lake Nimi was home to a Scythian king, which would have been a Nephilim priest king. Remember, they are part of the bloodline in the Realm of the Ring Lords book by Gardner, royal genealogist and Freemason. So Nimi was home to the king of the forest, the Nephilim king. Lake Nemi was home of Diana's mirror, which was the lake, and the temple of Diana in the sacred or holy woods near Rome. This was also where the Principate or Roman Senate took over that title of king of the forest around Lake Nemi. Remember, this is where Caligula had his boat, and he's part of the Judeo-Claudian dynasty. The emperors of that time who had their palaces around that lake were Caligula, Julius, and Augustus Caesar, and others, starting around 27 BC. These emperors are part of the Judeo-Claudian dynasty, so there is a connection of the Principate and the Roman emperors to the noble Orsini papacy. Furthermore, at the very end of Sir James Fraser's 1,600-page grimoire, he writes this flowery conclusion, and it's all about Lake Nimi. And I'll just read from that now. Our long voyage of discovery is over, and our bark has drooped her weary sails in port at last. Once more we take the road to Nimi. It's evening as we climb along the slope of the Appian Way up to the Albion Hills. We look back and see the sky aflame with a sunset in its golden glory resting like the aura of a dying saint over Rome and touching with a crust of fire the dome of St. Peter's. He's talking about the Basilica. The sight once seen can never be forgotten, but we turn from it and pursue our way, darkling, along the mountainside till we come to Nemi and look down on the lake, its deep hollow knot fast disappearing in the evening shadows. This place has changed but little since Diana received the homage of her worshippers in the sacred grove. 
at the temple of the sylvan goddess indeed has vanished, and the king of the wood no longer stands sentinel over the golden bough. But Nimi's woods are still green, and as the sunset fades above them in the west, there comes to us, borne on the swell of the wind, the sound of church bells of Aresia, ringing the Angeles Ave Maria, which is Hail Mary, which obviously he's implying that Mary has replaced Diana. So that tells me that the pagan practices of Diana worship and all that went with it was transferred from Lake Nimi with the emperors to the Vatican with the papacy. Furthermore, at least one and maybe both African noble princes who are now following Jesus describe their familial involvement in Satanism and secret societies. They describe being groomed by priests in Italy. Here's an Orsini coin with an Ouroboros and a ram's head. It says it's from the Maximus clan. There's also a dragon on here down at the bottom. Well, no, that's the Ouroboros, but it's a dragon Ouroboros. It's up close, you can see it. This is from one of their palaces. This is an Orsini Antonio Medici. I guess those lines interbred, and you see him with the Maltese cross there. And that is the same one that the British royals wear all the time, and the Knights Templar and the others. This is going to be the Etruscan bronze statue of Romulus and Remus in the Vatican, being nursed by She-Wolf. Romulus and Remus are reported to be the sons of a human woman in the god Mars, so a Nephilim, probably where the wolf man originated, which I've covered some of that before with the Dacians, etc. This is from the Orsini's noble papal family monster garden in Italy, known as Sacro Bosco, which translates to holy wood or sacred wood, so that's Artempasa. So in other words, they have, this papal family, has a garden that translates to holy wood or sacred wood, just like the Golden Bough, Lake Nimi, the area around Lake Nimi. And all of these monster statues are there. I'm not going to show all of them, but this is Artempasa. She's a Scythian snake-legged goddess. Here's another one, dragon. And there's many more, but you can check that out if you want. Here's a map of where all of that is. Here's Sacro Bosco. So it's up here. Rome's down here, and Lake Nimi is right here. And all of that is owned by the Orsinis. Nimi south of Rome, Sacro Bosco, Hollywood Monster Park, also owned by the Orsinis north of Rome. So now I'm just going to play this video again, like I said I would, and y'all can decide if you believe that this is only a charitable food center for the Ukrainian war. Someone sent this to me, so... Um, I don't think it is. I don't think that's just all that it is. Could be, but it wouldn't follow the pattern of these people. So, I think it's interesting also that it's uh, located in London. And it's called as the Knighthood Knight's Bridge. Thanks for listening. Science.